Security doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen by chance. You don't magically build a million line of code system and have it run and have it be uh, not vulnerable to any kind of attack. Uh, one of the reasons for that is that engineering is different from security research in focusing on trying to make things work. When you, we train engineers, when we teach them to build things, really the focus is on getting the, the bridge to stand. And if you're going to find security vulnerabilities, you're going to have to think like an attacker and you're going to have to try to approach the system in ways that the system's designers didn't anticipate. If I push on this one support for the bridge, I wonder what happens. And when we go to engineers who've built systems and we tell them, you know, we, we did this to your, to your code and it fell down, they say, well, why would you do that? That's not how you're supposed to use my system. The cars go on top of the bridge, not here in the, in the underpass. And unless some company or some industry has had the realization that they need to bring people in who think this way, who think uh, with a security mindset, who try to anticipate and, uh, and defend against uh, potential attacks, the code they're gonna produce is not going to look right. Thank <laughs> you.